Ah, uh, what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be on the Supra again. Today, we're going to test out some of the Ecutech features. If you guys didn't know, if you didn't know, um, Ecutech was released, uh, not Ecutech, but Ecutech's race ROM was released for the B58 and Supra on Friday, I think, yeah. Maybe, maybe Thursday night, I think it was Friday, and I got the email. Um, everybody was waiting for it, uh, so a few people got it an email that showed interest in it. Um, I was able to send it out to a few tuners that didn't get the email for it. Race ROM brings a whole bunch of features to the car, all right? The biggest thing being flex fuel and anti-lag and map switching. Um, I think there's gonna be more features later on. I think right now it's still in the in the beta testing stage. Uh, so actually when I first got it, um, I didn't update Ecutech software. So when I did get it and I try to flash my car, everything, a lot of the data log items, all that, like RPM was showing up as like NA, negative uh, 99999. And I thought maybe, maybe the Ecutech, it was just anti ambot. So um, I was able to get in contact with another buddy and he was having the same issue. So I finally posted it up in the forums and then uh, buddy, uh, John Visconti, pointed out that I needed to update the software. The craziest thing though, was that I actually tried to update the software yesterday, Saturday. I guess since I was using my phone, it didn't say that there was an update available. So I think, I didn't think there was any update. I thought I already had the newest software, but well, that was a fail. So um, he pointed out that I needed to update. So I brought the laptop inside, updated it last night, came out last night and flashed the car with the new uh, Ecutech software and it works. Now I just gotta figure out how um, anti-lag works. I already figured out the map switching. So actually, let me show you guys some of the tables that we got uh, for this, for this race ROM, right? So just give me a second. So here are some of the features right here. So we have um, just better load limit per gear, uh, you know, especially for those that want it want a load limit kind of like boost by gear it's something similar um we have uh boost control target max uh burple is like fully um you have burple aggression so we have um uh, so boost control right here um, Burple is like fully customizable for each map switch. So mode one, mode two, mode three. I just already have it set up uh, for mode four being um, all out burples, you know, all out map. And then, you know, map one being, you know, zero, no burple. So you have that, you have uh, bigger ignition tables. Uh, this is kind of cool because for map switching, um, I don't have flex fuel on this car just as yet. I'm waiting for uh, Visconti's uh, flex fuel kit to come to me in the mail. Um, but I will have flex fuel on this car. But this right here works out pretty cool because I'm on a full E85 map. And what I did was is these four modes, one mode being the, the safest, like low power, um, minimum timing, same amount of boost, but just minimum timing. Mode two is just a little bit more timing, more boost. Uh, mode three is what I dynoed with, and then mode four is just an all out send it uh, map. So that's pretty cool how I set all that up. Um, lambda control, it has different lambda controls for different modes. Uh, this is one of the biggest features that we're all waiting for, that everything's enabled, anti-lag, you also have um, all the CAN inputs, outputs to come. Uh, flex fuel, obviously you have, if you have flex fuel, I just have to set that all up. Um, map switching is just the beast, you know, uh, enabled map switching. And just special features, sports display, torque, and valet mode. So 
how this all works is for map switching, you literally just hold this resume cancel on the cruise control and then you just use this as up and down. Mode two, mode three, mode four, back down to three, two, one, whatever mode you want, you just let it go and then RPMs should go back down where they were and that's cool. Um, I haven't tested the anti-rolling light yet but I'm actually about to go out and see if I can get it to work. It's either one of these two buttons, I just don't know which one. I just have to figure out how it all works, but we're about to go do that. I'll try to capture it on video for you guys, and let's get it. So with that anti-lag, um, they only built like six to seven PSI, so still gotta tune it a little bit. And that's spooling up a 62-62. Um, yeah, so about six, seven PSI. Um, I still gotta figure out, you know, pedal placement and uh, to get that all going. I noticed that when I did it in auto mode, um, it was kind of a pain because if you did it 100% throttle, it was acting really weird and it would upshift really quick while doing the anti-lag. So you might just have to do it in manual. I'm not sure I have to do more testing. I just wanted to show you guys like a little sneak preview. Um, I will do another video once it's fully tuned and everything's correct. That way you guys can see actually, you know, how it does and stuff like that. So I, that's all I wanted to show you guys for this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you have any questions, ask in the uh, question, uh, comment box below. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.